Everyone, this is Ross, and uh, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time uh, viewing my channel, uh, we talk a lot about figs. And in this video, I want to show you guys exactly when to pick a fig. Um, my thought process is from day one to two weeks from now. Um, this particular fig we're going to look at is called Canadria. So this fig, I believe, is day one. This is the first day that Canadria is swelling for me. They produce on New Year's growth, okay? So the, the growth that came out from right here is new and came all the way up to here to about here and all along that stem is new figs. This is the main crop, this is the second crop. Some varieties like Canadria here can produce a Braba crop which is produced on old year's wood. But as soon as the, uh, the fig will start to swell um, it starts to get softer, it gets larger, the color starts to change. But all figs, guys, before they start to swell, are green and hard. So this is not what you want to pick. This is really inedible. Uh, it's filled with fig sap, and the sap is a really good indicator that the fig is not ready to be eaten. In fact, if you touch the sap or eat the sap, you will regret it. They start out as little pea-sized figs, right? So this is really, really small. And we can get these figs to, to show up, guys, by pinching off the tip. We can literally just break off the tip just like that, which will induce figs if, for whatever reason, you want them now. So from that time you pinch, it takes about 100 days. Maybe you get 7 to 10 days for a fig like this little size to form. And then 90 days on average after that fig there has formed, uh, you will have a ripe fig. We'll come at you guys at day two all the way two weeks from now about showing you the progress of this fig and exactly when it should be picked. See, we're a little bit larger than uh, day one, and we're also getting lighter in color. It's still quite hard, but uh, this is day two. And you can see here that the fig has completely fallen over. Um, it's now softening up. You know, the entire neck is now starting to soften. The fig itself is starting to soften, but if I were to pick this right now, it would be filled with uh, plenty of sap, and the sap is really not pleasant to eat. It's uh, more of a dry mouth, a stringent feel, so uh, we still have quite a while to go. So again, nothing special here, guys. We're just getting into the early stages of fig ripening. Things are getting more yellow. This is a yellow variety. The skin will be yellow. We're also getting larger and we're getting softer. And really from this point onwards, uh, we are getting a lot more sugar content being pumped into this fig uh, through the carbohydrates that the, the fig plant produces. But you can see we've got significantly more yellow and we've got uh, significantly more soft. That's kind of what's been going on. And a lot of people at this point will see a fig like this and they'll pick it. They may have even picked it way, way before this. It's quite a crime. Um, what I like to do is let them go as long as humanly possible because that usually brings out the most flavor, the more complexity to it, uh, the more interesting um, fig flavors. Now, every single day we let this fig ripen on the tree is a really big difference from the previous day. So y'all can see now that the fig is now getting uh, quite yellow. It's uh, about as yellow as it's going to get now so that's a really good sign um, plus the bottom here is getting some sugar spots which is a really also a really good sign uh, the thing is getting softer obviously it'll just continue to get softer and softer all throughout even the neck and we'll get to a point where this thing gets really ugly now if you're going to sell this fig I wouldn't let it get this ugly but for people like you and me who are usually at home eating these things 
Uh, the more sugar spots, the uglier the fig, the better in most cases. Now, some figs I like to pick a little bit earlier. So uh, let's see here. My Ronde de Bordeaux. Let's see if I can show you guys this fig. This guy I like to pick a little bit earlier. But I'm trying to let this one go as long as humanly possible. So what I'll do is on usually about day five or seven, if this is a new variety to me, I'll pick it then. And I'll say to myself, okay, on day five, five or seven from swelling, you know, do I like this fig? Do I think it, it uh, satisfies the requirement of a really tasty fig? If the answer is no, I'll let this thing hang for another three days. So say we picked it at seven days the first time. We'll pick it at 10 days and we'll pick it at 13 days. We'll pick it at 16 days. We'll just continue that process until I figure out at which point in time I really like to pick my figs. More ugly guys you can see it's getting more brown you know it's it's softer I don't want to touch it too much because it'll fall off but uh, this is what it looks like all right everyone so we got the last day here and you can see that the the fig is quite brown now with sugar spots this thing's filled with honey it's very very soft you know, it's starting to get attacked by some insects. That's when you know it's really, really ripe. And in, most people would probably look at this fig right now and say it's overripe. Uh, but I know that this fig really brings out the flavor when it gets like this. Now, the reason we're going to pick it now instead of on day 14 is because uh, we have a rain coming in tomorrow. And a fig like this, I wouldn't want to risk uh, a fig this far along potentially uh, getting ruined by the rain, perhaps spoiling, maybe fermenting a little bit. That's not what we want. So uh, just with experience, that will come. And I know for, for sure that the 0.2 inches of rain we're going to get tomorrow, you can see there's a fly on there. Those 0.2 inches of rain could definitely hurt this, this variety. So we're going to try to pick this thing, by the way, by the stem. It's a lot harder for some varieties to pick them by the stem. But this will preserve the fig much longer than if you had ripped it off at the neck. Say you wanted to put this in your refrigerator or you wanted to put this on the counter for a little bit. Definitely better to rip it off at the stem rather than the neck. So we can see here, again, it's a nice yellow color. It has sugar spots all over it. It's starting to shrivel up. You know, the neck is starting to get uh, skinnier, the, the fig's starting to get smaller. It's really starting to almost somewhat dry on the tree. For, and for this fig, it's really, really perfect like that. I have other figs that I, like I've said earlier in, in this video probably, you know, I don't recommend doing the same thing for other varieties. I, I find that there's a sweet spot for each individual variety. So let me cut this open real quick, we'll eat it. And that will be the end of uh, the video, guys, and how to pick a fig. Not as red on the interior as I had thought, but maybe that's probably because of, uh, you know, maybe a lack of heat. So there you have it, guys. That's a really well-ripened variety, and I'll taste it for you guys and describe it. Really, really sweet.